Stop scrolling, because what I'm about to share could change how we think about investing forever. BlackRock just dropped a paper that asks one radical question. What if a team of AI agents could build a better investment committee than humans? Not one super AI, but an entire squad. Debating, challenging, and collaborating like a Wall Street dream team. Sounds wild? Here's the kicker. In back tests, this AI team actually outperformed human-driven portfolios. Yes, AI agents working together beat stock pickers at their own game. But how does it work? Can AI really overcome human bias and data overload? The very flaws that sink even the smartest investors? And more importantly, could this be the future of portfolio management? You don't want to miss this breakdown. Because if AI can do this, the entire investing landscape is about to change. So hit that like button, drop a comment, and share this with a friend who still thinks humans will always be better stock pickers. And make sure you subscribe, because what you're about to see is only the beginning. Watch the video now, before everyone else is talking about it. Welcome to The Explainer. Today we're looking at this really fascinating paper from BlackRock that poses a huge question. What if a team of AI agents could build a better investment committee? It's all about trying to create a better stock picker. So let's jump right in. And this really gets to the heart of the problem they're tackling. I mean, for all our expertise, we human investors, we're constantly tripped up by our own minds, right? The big question is, can a team of AIs actually do better? So before we even get to the cool AI stuff, we've really got to understand the problem it's designed to solve. And it turns out the single biggest challenge in investing, well, it's us. I mean, just think about it for a second. A single human analyst has to do with this, just this tidal wave of information, right? You've got financial reports, earnings calls, market news, sector research. It's a totally monumental task to process all of that perfectly. Almost impossible, really. And you know, on top of that mountain of data, our own psychology is often working against us. This is where behavioral finance comes in, a field really pioneered by guys like Kahneman and Tversky. They prove that these mental shortcuts we take, you know, biases like being way too confident or being terrified of losing money, they can sneak in, cloud our judgment, and lead to some pretty bad investment choices. Okay, so how do you even begin to tackle these huge issues of data overload and our own built-in biases? Well, this research proposes something really clever. Not just one single all-knowing AI, but a whole team of them. The system is called Alpha Agents, and the core idea is pretty simple, actually. It's to build this framework where different AI agents, each with their own specific job and their own set of tools, can work together, almost exactly like a human investment committee would. All right, so let's meet this AI team. First up, you've got the Fundamental Agent. This is your classic, detail-oriented analyst, the one that digs deep into the fine print of official company filings, you know, the 10Ks and 10Qs. Then there's the sentiment agent. Think of this one as the team's ear to the ground, trying to get a feel for the market's mood by looking at news and analyst ratings. And finally, you have the valuation agent. This is the pure numbers guru, just crunching historical price and volume data. So we have the team, but how do they actually make a decision together, right? How do they go from three different analyses to one single recommendation? Well, it's this really fascinating two-step process. So the whole process kicks off when a user, let's say an analyst or a portfolio manager, asks for an analysis of a specific stock. From that point, each of the three specialist agents goes to work using its own unique data and tools to come up with its own initial take. And this is where it gets really interesting. The process has two key phases. First, there's collaboration, where all the agents basically report their findings to a central coordinator. But the real magic happens if they don't agree. That's when they enter a debate, where they actually challenge each other's findings and assumptions directly until they can all get on the same page and reach a consensus. And we can actually see this whole debate process play out with a real-world example they used, the company Zscaler. So initially, the valuation agent looked at all the price trends and came back with a buy recommendation. It saw a bullish trend, looked like good potential for returns. But that wasn't the end of the story. During the debate, the other agents piped up with some pretty serious concerns. Things like the company's negative net income and some recent insider selling. And after weighing all that new evidence, the team's final unified decision was to sell the stock, a complete reversal of that initial call. This is the system working exactly how it's supposed to. Okay, this all sounds amazing in theory, right? But the billion dollar question is, does it actually work? Does this AI committee's whole process actually lead to better investment results in the real world? 
Well, to find that out, the team ran a backtest. What they did was they had the agents analyze a group of 15 tech stocks and then build portfolios based on their recommendations, you know, their buys and sells. Then they just sat back and tracked how those portfolios performed over a four-month period to see how they measured up. And honestly, the results were pretty compelling. For what they called a risk-neutral investor, the portfolio that the whole multi-agent team built together clearly did better. It didn't just outperform the benchmark. It also beat portfolios that were built by any one of the agents working all by itself. So in short, the teamwork really did pay off. And here's something else that's really fascinating. The agents actually changed their whole strategy depending on the investor's risk tolerance. The risk-neutral portfolio is pretty broad, very diversified. But the risk-averse portfolio was incredibly selective, focusing on just a tiny handful of stocks that the agents all agreed were the most stable. Now, in that risk-averse test, being so cautious meant that the AI portfolios actually underperformed the tech-heavy benchmark, which happened to be in the middle of a really strong rally. But, and this is a really important but, the multi-agent portfolio had way less volatility. It had smaller losses than the others, showing it was actually much better at managing that downside risk. So what this tells us is that the AI didn't just stumble upon some magic formula for amazing returns. What it did, which is arguably more impressive, is it successfully modeled that classic real-world trade-off, the one between playing it safe to protect your capital and taking on more risk to chase after higher returns. All right, so let's zoom out. What does all of this really mean? This whole experiment points to a much, much bigger picture for the future of AI and finance. So look, why is this so important? This is way more than just building a robot that can pick stocks. It's really a huge step towards creating systems that can augment or improve human decision-making. That whole debate process gives you a transparent, auditable trail of why a decision was made, something a human analyst can actually review. It's a tool, really, for helping us get around our own biases and make smarter, more informed choices. And that really leaves us with one final, pretty provocative thought. We've just seen how a team of AIs can reason, debate, and even adapt its strategy. It really forces you to wonder, as these systems get more and more sophisticated, what are the investment committees of the future going to look like? Thanks for watching this episode of the How to Finance X Economics X AI Playlist, your go-to guide for solving the toughest implementation challenges of AI and machine learning in finance. Every video here is backed by the latest insights from academia, top-tier financial institutions, and leading think tanks. If you're serious about understanding the forces shaping modern finance, you're exactly in the right place. For more insights like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and join us as we explore the future of finance, powered by AI, 